How's it going everyone? How are you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh aka The Lonely Hermit and today we're getting to episode 4 of our Pokemon Omega Ruby Random Random Dot. And before we even get into anything, before we even touch Team Recap, any, any, all, 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 all that good stuff, uh, if you guys are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, be sure to leave a like on the video. Go check out my Twitter and Instagram. They're both at HermitLonely underscore. They're the best places to stay updated with the channel. So make sure you drop a follow while you are there. Now, today I'm going to take on some trainers that are on this route leading up to the cave that's on the other side. And then we're gonna go back and take on Roxanne. I wanna get a little bit of training in because Roxanne's ace is 14. And you'll see with the team right now, we're not at that level. So I wanna just take on some trainers, try to be as best prepared as I can going into this gym battle. But let's look over the team real quick. We have Wonton the Beedrill with Illuminate as her ability with Poison Sting, String Shot, Harden, and Fury Attack. Cleffa, level nine. I did not get it all the way, get him all the way up. Uh, with Pound Charm, Encore, Sing. Uh, holding the Quick Claw with Sand Rush as his ability. We have Betty the Noibat with Screech, Poison Fan, Gus, Leash Life Pressure as her ability, level 11. Kale Jr., level 11, or KJ, level 11 with Harden and Gus, Effect Spore as his ability. Pat the Pichu, level 11 with Thundershock, Charm, Tail Whip, Sweet Kiss, Overcoat as his ability, holding the fluffy tail. Uh, Arthur the Arceus with Seismic Toss, Cosmic Power, Poison Fang, and Punishment. Levitate as this ability, holding the Orin Betty. What does the Fluffy Tail even do? I don't remember. Let's see. I don't remember what the Fluffy Tail does. Uh, in between episodes, nothing really uh, happened while I was grinding, so I don't really have to show you anything. Um, but I'm curious, what does the Fluffy Tail do? Oh, guarantees escape. Eh, we'll keep it on Pat. Why not? Um, so. Oh wait, does it work like a Poké Doll? Eh, whatever. I don't care. Um. <laughs> Uh, you as you can see, I, I actually didn't get uh, Cleffa all the way up to the level of everyone else. Um, as you may or may not know, hashtag Lonely Hermit hates babies. Uh, <laughs> I hate baby Pokemon. I hate grinding baby Pokemon. It's just a pain in my booty. Uh, it's really annoying. So I just chose to just not do it uh, all the way. I just got her, got him to level nine. And just gonna rely on the EXP share from there. Uh, it's not like he has any fairy type moves yet, so it's not like he's gonna be a huge help right now. Um, so I, I just decided to let the EXP share take the rest of it away. Um, and my controller already turned off. Cool, give me one second. Guess we're back to using the keyboard again. So, say. Yeah, my controller. I don't know why. I don't know if it's the batteries. I don't know if it's the connection. I don't know what it is. Honestly, I don't know why it just stops connecting. Sometimes I have to look that up in two episodes. I need to fix it because it's really annoying. But they are about to center it. Wow. Okay. Um, let's send out Arthur. Uh, I have a feeling we're probably gonna have to lean on Arthur a little bit for the gym battle. Unfortunately, I don't want to rely on him too much because, well, as you can see, he is a an Arceus, so <laughs> don't want to rely on him too much. Um, but if I have to, I won't really hesitate. Uh, if it's losing three team members or relying on Arthur, I'm gonna rely on Arthur. I'm not gonna lose three team members, so <laughs> we'll go from there. Um, what was my question of the day? Did I, I always forget and I always forget to write it down? I think of it before the episode starts, and then and then I forget before it starts. <laughs> What was my question of the day? Oh, I don't think I've asked this. I don't think I've asked this yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure because there is no rock type gym leader in Heart Gold. What is your guys' favorite rock type Pokemon? Uh, when I pick a move right here, I'm going to go check my little list and see who I have listed there. Uh, let's see. Pictures. No. Thumb, uh, PNGs. Favorite Pokemon each type. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know who I put there. That one's pretty easy for me. Uh, if you guys don't know... Or if you haven't seen my banner on the channel, uh, I think it'd be a toss-up between Larvitar and Tyranitar. Um, I love both of them. I love Larvitar. Larvitar is my favorite first stage evolution. I love it so much. It's such a good... Such, I love it. Uh, and then Tyranitar is just a really cool Pokemon. Although it has like 95 weaknesses, uh, <laughs> I still love Tyranitar regardless. Uh, it's a really fun Pokemon. Uh... Really cool Pokemon as well. I love its design. I love Mega Tyranitar as well. Mega Tyranitar is really good. Um, yeah, I think I think that answer is pretty easy for me. I think Tyranitar or Larvitar would be my number one 
um probably tyranitar for the sake of usability um but they, they would definitely be my one and two i think behind them i think i put i think i mm, i think i put lycanroc every form <laughs> i like lycanroc a lot i do i do quite like it um ooh, please land the scene so i can switch please land the scene yes uh i do like lycanroc every form the dawn dusk and the other one <laughs> which one dawn is Dawn's the regular, like, well, not the regular, the brown one, right? And then the dusk is the red one. What is the orange one? I don't remember. Let me know down below. Uh, I don't remember what it's called, honestly. I'll, I'll probably check, but go ahead and put in the comments anyways. <laughs> um, yeah, Lycan Rock is a really cool rock type. I think, I think I would put, I think I would also give a special shout out to Gollum and Rhyperior. I do like both of them as, as rock types. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to go through the rock types in my head. Uh, Pseudo Wudo is a fun one. Pseudo Wudo! Fun one. Rock type Pokemon. Uh, I need to bounce back in four seconds to check. Uh, that's good XP. That's good XP for Cleffa. Sweet Kiss. Which one is Sweet Kiss? That's confusion. I literally, I think I just asked, asked that question last episode. Uh, <laughs> so let's see. I have it pulled up here. Oh, a Lolan Golem is pretty cool. Rock Electric is a fun typing for sure. Shout out to the Gen 1 fossils as well. I think they're probably my favorite fossils. Maybe Gen 6 takes that. Um, Aerodactyl, Kabutops, and Amistar are very good, very cool designs. They're, uh, they're pretty good Pokemon as well. They're, they're pretty good. Uh, Aerodactyl, not so much. I think I think the other two are better, but... Uh, shout out to my Cargo. I feel like he doesn't... It, it doesn't really get a lot of love. I think my Cargo is actually a pretty solid fire type. Although it has a four times weakness to... Uh, what should we call it? To um, water but still i think it's a very good very good pokemon um to use obviously i said tyranitar i don't really like nose pass or purple pass agron i do actually quite like agron agron is a pretty good rock type um right here is reggie rock i know derek if he if he's watching this video if you're watching this video i know he's gonna put reggie rock in the comments for the question of the day um i know for sure i'm not the biggest fan of the original reggie's not gonna lie to you uh so i, I probably wouldn't put it anywhere near but you know what shout out to derek there um the gen 4 fossils are okay uh bastiodon rampardos Agron, like i said agron is pretty fun i remember i used a shiny agron in one of my playthroughs of up sapphire i think i still have it i should still have it um it should be somewhere i don't remember where i have to check i hope i still have it i just thought about that oh god um the gen <sighs> gen 5 the gen 5 rock types aren't that great in my opinion gigalith is all right probably the, i think gigalith is my favorite rock type out of all of them um but they're not particularly great i don't know why i fought this spiro i'm not gonna lie to you that was, there was no point in me fighting that spiro um that was pointless <laughs> um terrakion's pretty cool binnacle and barbarical are just kind of tough to go against i'll give them that but i don't really like them to be honest uh tyrantium and Aurorus, like i said probably up there with kabutops almost start and uh do i switch here It's a bit of a toughie here. Uh, Kabutops, Amostar, and Aerodactyl as favorite uh, fossils from a generation. Uh, that race is speed. Okay, that's fine. Um, Minior. I actually forgot about Minior. Minior is actually pretty good. Uh, Minior is pretty good. Oh, it's midday for Lycanroc. I'm, I just seen it right now. Midday for Lycanroc is the brown. Midnight is the red. Dusk is the orange. I knew Dusk wasn't what I was saying. I just didn't correct myself, honestly. <laughs> um... Minior is a pretty good one. I like Minior. I like all the different cores. It's hard to shiny hunt, but it's pretty cool. Uh, Nihiligo is funny. I do quite like Nihiligo. I did not know it was Rock Poison. I did not find that out until way after I played the games. Um, Stack Attacka as well. Did not know that was Rock. Uh, makes sense. It makes a little more sense than Nihiligo. To me, at least. Uh, Dreadnought is interesting. It's, it's okay. I mean, Colossus is interesting. Stone Joiner, Stone Joiner. Um... Yeah, I think I'd still put Tyranitar up top. I think I'd put the uh, Lycanroc forms below them. And then probably, like, Agron, Gollum, and Rhyperior, like, tied <laughs> together. I feel like are, are, are my decisions there. For but let me know down below your personal favorite rock type 
Pokemon. Let me know yours down in the comment section down below. Like I said, Derek's probably going to pick Regirock. I already know it. He has said it multiple times that Regirock is one of his favorite Pokemon. So. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have it in his banner. Come on, Derek. Let's go put it on your banner. Come on. I think he has, what, like Swalot and two other Pokemon. <laughs> I know I remember Swallow because it's just funny to me. Like I never met anyone who likes Swallow. Uh, I don't really. I'm not the biggest fan of Swallow. I'm not gonna lie. It's just kind of a slightly better monk. Um, that's about it. I probably should not have come in on this Curlio. I should switch. I shouldn't have used the move. I should have just switched. Right, I'm switching. I said this last. I said was it uh, two episodes ago? I think in, in the second episode. Uh where wonton just refused to die to any attacks um what is this thing gonna have though that's my question uh i'll bring in betty um when wonton refused to die to any psychic attack attack uh i said it in that episode i'm gonna switch anytime there's a psychic type yet yeah, right here right now i just used poison thing and didn't even bother switching uh <laughs> <laughs> so uh oh, there's another thing i wanted to talk about today um i need to write this stuff down there was something i saw in fudge fudge crackers fiddlesticks i don't remember what i was gonna talk about oh why do i do this to myself it was in the news let me check sarah because there's something i saw regarding pokemon i don't remember what it was oh yeah 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 so Apparently, uh, already people are speculating uh, about <laughs> Gen 5 remakes, which, um, why? <laughs> we're already barely going to get Gen 4 remakes, and we're probably not going to get Gen 5 remakes for another four years, so five years, probably, well, like four years, probably, or so. I know there's an item up here somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, Pearl, not bad. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. So... Cerebi posted this thing of uh, Iris and Hydreigon coming to um, Pokemon Masters. And first of all, I was like, Hydreigon? Really? Like, why not Haxorus? But I guess, I think she already has a Haxorus as one of... I think she's a sync pair in the game and she has Haxorus, but... Um, someone had put it in the, in, the, in the comments of the tweet, like, basically saying, like, I can't believe... Basically saying that, I can't believe people are already, like looking for gen 5 clues or something something along those lines and i was like that's a thing like people are are genuinely already looking for gen 5 remake clues like really i mean okay i guess i mean these games to be fair these games came out they had a little canto hint and then the i think it was what sun and moon came out ultra cinema came out and then let's go came out so eventually to be fair we did get uh why am i going in the box i just need to heal <laughs> i just need to heal oh poor champ um <laughs> eventually yeah it happened but still i think there were talks even in x and y about cancel yeah but but x and y to me was based around a lot around canto to be fair like there was a lot of canto nostalgia in that game so i wasn't that surprised that there was canto stuff um so I don't, I don't know i feel like people are still <sighs> People are just clamoring a bit. It's a little early for all this Gen 5 talk. Uh, we're barely, like I said, we're barely about to get Gen 5 stuff. So I don't, I don't particularly see the reason why people are looking up, looking, looking for clues already. I don't, I don't get it. Yes, I'd love to see, I'd love to see an, an even further time skip than Gen 5. I think that would be really cool. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna skip through this, like, not skip, but, like, speed through these trainers. Um, yes, I'd love to see Unova again, but I, I, I feel like it's way too soon to be seeing that right now. I'm gonna get effects for it, you know what? No? Okay, cool. Um, I feel like it's just way too soon for all that, honestly. I feel like it's just way too soon. We just learned Absorb, that's perfect. Um... I'd like to see a black and white three. I said this for Diamond and Pearl. I'd like to see a Diamond and Pearl two. It looks like it's gonna be a shot for shot for the in terms of the story at least. Um, I guess I'm just kind of over remakes at this point. I mean, I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna probably love it. I just think that we we probably could get something more than remakes. I think sequels would be so cool. Um, whether these are sequels or not, we really don't know. I don't know if they showed Cyrus or not, um, which would probably be one of the telltale signs that like. 
these aren't re exactly remakes these are um these are like sequels in a way um, because if you see cyrus obviously it's, it's most likely remake because well i guess it could be a sequel because i mean we did see like get this in black and white too to be fair but i still think that uh, i still think a sequel would be a lot better than a than a remake like a straight up remake um although i do like these games a lot and these are pretty much shot for shot remakes uh, i'm gonna have to switch great um they also do add the delta episode which adds elements of emerald which i think was cool we have contests which are elements elements of emerald what i like about this one is it combines all three versions um although they still split it in between two uh which is something i do think game freak I, I there are certain things i can't fault game freak or the pokemon company for because it did not oh my god really um because at the end of the day you guys got to realize that they are a business you know i see all the people talk about like oh you, you slack off are you kidding me uh, um people talking about certain things and at the end of the day you guys got to realize that they are a business um can i okay i know i can so can i switch jeez um so they gotta they gotta sell they gotta sell cards they gotta sell toys they gotta sell games and their primary audience is or are kids that's something we gotta realize and i'm not shaming you if you play the game you're 12 i'm about to be 20 and i'm still playing the game like i don't 30 40 50 i don't care like if you're playing the game at that age i don't, I don't give a crap like that's that's on you like if you enjoy the game you enjoy the game i'm not gonna fault you for that but at the end of the day people got to realize that these games are for kids and uh, and honestly kids don't really care what the game looks like <laughs> anymore they just want to play pokemon so and it's a cutesy art style like bdsp or the free world like legends kids don't really care honestly kids don't really care that it looks like that uh, you'll find one here or there uh who will say yeah that kind of sucks but i think that a lot of times their, their opinions are influenced by people who are like hey these the, the art style sucks for this game huh and they'd be like yeah because that's just what kids do kids always do that they always agree with, with someone like they, they don't have opinions of their own <laughs> um but at the end of the day they're they're gonna enjoy this game and they're gonna sell and kids are gonna love it that's just the way it's gonna go because kids will eat up anything that's pokemon related and that's that is what it is and if you're like well when i was a kid i wanted a game with all the regions okay we gotta know now especially with eight regions that's just not realistic let's be honest here uh at least anytime soon um yes is it an awesome thing to think about for sure yes i'd, I'd love to eventually have a game that has all the regions but as it stands right now that is just not a reality right uh, the most we'll get i think right now is legends i feel like that's the closest we'll get to that although it's still set in Cinna, a region we've been to obviously um i'm gonna slow it down a bit here because we're about to head into the gym battle um yeah it, at the end of the day people just got to realize that kids are the the primary audience for pokemon not anyone not even teenagers at that rate honestly uh, partially but i say more like 12 and under is the primary audience for pokemon is the primary consumer for pokemon that's you know what i mean that's why it makes me mad like with the the pokemon card thing or the what's it called the um who am i leading with actually real quick uh we'll lead with we'll uh no we'll lead i think we'll lead with betty we'll lead with betty um the pokemon card shortage all these the scalpers and stuff and then the the one of the biggest pet peeves of mine was the pokemon um cards in mcdonald's boxes and then the pokemon cards in the cinnamon toast crunch boxes i bet those are all sold out too uh it's frustrating because it's these grown-ass people buying these cards taking that opportunity from other kids you know what i mean who want to get into pokemon or who are into pokemon and love pokemon and they just wanted those cards and these these dumbass people don't care about my language just take it from them take that opportunity from them if i was a kid and i went to mcdonald's wanting those pokemon cards and i couldn't get it i'd cry i'd freaking be so sad because it's like that's that's like a kid's life is that sort of thing is pokemon is lego is all these extra toys and stuff that is their life you know what i mean they don't have to worry about bills or anything they barely have to worry about school you know what i mean so 
that's their life and you're taking that away from them i think that's just such a dick move by these people and then they, they just have to be really bad human beings to take that from these kids you know what i mean and then like in front of man landed will bring up like a drive like he bought he bought the cards from the mcdonald's yeah but he also gave them away and my thing is is at least he gave them away but also to who you know what i mean like i said it sucks that these kids are, are having these opportunities taken from them these opportunities to get these cards and have fun with them and go show them off to their friends and you know just have them for life and you know remember oh yeah i got this from mcdonald's and i, I traded this one with my friend uh we he wanted the charmander and i had the squirtle uh and i had the charmander he had the squirtle i wanted squirtle so we traded you know it's, it's like you're taking that away from these kids you know what i mean i think that's so unfair to them um and that goes back to my point of kids are the primary audience of Pokemon. And I feel like a lot of people miss that point. And I get like, oh, I want better for the kids. And it's like, no, you don't. You want better for yourself at the end of the day. Let's be honest here. You play the game. You want it to be better for you. But these kids like it the way it is. And uh, as much as you might hate it, Game Freak knows that. Ooh, Lauter. We're definitely going to Arthur for this. Uh, Game Freak knows that. Game Freak knows that. They know who they got to sell to. So... They're not going to change their formula. They're not. And that's just me being perfectly honest with you guys. They're not going to change their formula uh, drastically, at least right away. It'll probably be slow. If they do change it, it'll probably be like a slow buildup, but it's not going to be a drastic change. They're not going to just up and, and change their formula. Oh, we're going to use cosmic power. I'm using cosmic power. Uh, we're going to set up cosmic powers because that's a problem uh real quick gonna focus on this for a second um that's not good i'm gonna set up another one because i don't care we're gonna plus four this defense um but yeah excuse my language i don't really care because when it comes to that stuff it's it's really frustrating honestly uh really frustrating because it's like like i said if like if i had a kid and i went to mcdonald's and i see my kids so excited to get these cards and then we go when they say sorry we're all sold out and then i see someone walk out with like five of them who's like 35 years old and probably has no kids or our nephews or nieces come on like that's just not cool that's just not fair to these kids that's not fair for them to have to go through that and like i said this stuff is their life like they don't have to really worry about school or anything like that they just gotta they just gotta worry about what the next pokemon cards coming out are gonna be what the next lego sets are gonna i keep bringing up those examples because those are my childhood but you know what i mean like you know things that kids um enjoy like that's that's just frustrating that people would try and take that from them or not try take that from them not even try they're taking that from them and i think that's just super super unfair for them um but in lighter news <laughs> we just finished off our gym leader here uh we have nasty plot Ooh, we could set up with nasty plot a setup pikachu raichu okay 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 little nasty plot there kale jr everyone's gonna get some fat xp from that because that was a lot uh no thank you keep old moves yes uh jet scarlet yay we got our first gym badge let's go we got our first gym badge 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 we got our first i thought the game froze <laughs> the game didn't want to give me the gym badge there it is it's on the layout Let's go. I don't know when I'm gonna put on the layout when the badge comes up or when it says you received it. Mm -hmm. Also, we get a TM. Water Shuriken. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Water Shuriken. I wonder I wonder if anyone can learn that. That's actually pretty interesting. Huh. Can anyone learn that? I think I actually might teach it to Arthur. I might teach Water Shuriken Arthur, honestly. What should I get rid of? I'm gonna keep Cosmic Power because again, in case anything tries to set up, we can just go into Arthur and do that. He's already bulky enough, and then you add on the Cosmic Power. Uh, I might give it a Seismic Toss. Punishment actually probably would have done more damage than Seismic Toss, by the way. I forget that Punishment does that. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna play Seismic Tower. Seismic Tower. Seismic Pow. If I can speak. Seismic Toss. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna use Water Shuriken. I think it'll be good. We don't really have a counter to fire types right now, so I think that's a good one to have. Uh, the little cutscene here is gonna play. Oh my god! Out of the way, move it. 
No, no, wait. Please, 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 please. don't take those parts. No. <laughs> God, he runs so slow. Okay, I'm gonna go heal and we're not gonna do that part yet um i'm gonna do the devon corporation and then heading to the next city in the next episode we're gonna go check out the cut areas uh the items we can go get and stuff we're gonna do that um so let me speed up the game actually so we could just get through that uh i need to teach cut to someone i'm probably just gonna teach it to wonton honestly uh i'll get rid of what's it called fury attack oh uh, no we'll get rid of harden we'll get rid of harden because we don't really need that right now Wonton's not that bulky anyway, so setting up Harden probably wouldn't help too much. So let's go ahead and go check out some of the cut spots. So that way we can get some items. Yes, please. Hydril. Uh, Relic Silver. That sells, right? That's money. I think that's money. Is it? I don't know. I don't remember. I'll have to check in between episodes. Um what all this stuff sells for so that's that that wasn't that exciting <laughs> uh this guy's gonna tell me hey uh help me blah 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 okay yeah 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 okay let's go up here is that the doof <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i was kind of mad so i ran into cleffa while i was grinding here um obviously i mean when i got my encounter here obviously and then when i was grinding here my next two encounters were a muna and a starly no offense cleffa but i would have wanted to take an amuna or a starly over cleffa uh I Muna actually would have been nice having a psychic type, honestly, because we kind of I mean, I guess now Arthur's kind of a counter to the ground types, but we don't really have a good counter against the ground types, so I think it would have been nice to have something there. Uh to do that. I think I mean we could battle these trainers. I'm not really I'm just trying to get to the item first. Before we do that. What are those chesto berries, right? Those are the sleep ones. No, no, oh, I almost went over the edge. Expert belt. That is not bad. In case anyone gets fighting type moves, I will take it. Is that... Wait, which one? Is, I think expert belt is the fighting type one. Because I know there's one... I don't know if it's in this game. There's one that... No, see, that's the one I was thinking of. The super effective moves. Actually, that is really good. We'll have to put that on someone. Uh, I'll figure out items in between episodes. Like, who should I... Who I should put some, some stuff on. I actually wouldn't mind a starter. I think a starter would be really cool. Uh, Betty can bite... Biting Betty. Probably should use Gus, huh? Because it's a uh, stab. Can't wait till Betty learns a dragon type move. <laughs> uh, it's gonna, we're fine. We got to beat it. We're good. We're good. We're good. That's a day at all, Shabba. That's a day at all, Shabba. Uh, we have to do a little bit of grinding because. Uh, do we want to teach a copycat? Nah. Uh, um, because I think Brawly's ace is at like 18. I could be completely wrong it could be higher uh so we'll see when we get there um hopefully we can get up decently well i'm i'm pretty excited to get more encounters i feel like we haven't really been getting encounters i don't think i got my cave encounter we'll save that for next episode we'll save my cave encounter for next episode uh because we're gonna go in the cave i don't think i got it i'll double check i, I am my mind is just like this right now i don't know if you guys can tell my mind's going right now oh my god uh i'll have to check but I think I don't think we did. I don't think we went in the caves to get an encounter. I'm 99% sure we did not. Uh, so I'm definitely gonna check just, just to make sure. Um, but I'm 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 pretty sure we didn't. So this is gonna be the last trainer we take on for today, and it's already dead. Uh, that was quick. So yeah, <laughs> pretty productive episode I would say. This has probably been the most productive episode so far. We took on our first gym leader, got our first gym badge. We'll get an encounter next episode. We'll work on that. Um, when it comes to by the way real quick when replacing pokemon on a team if i feel a pokemon isn't really going to benefit the team in the long run slash uh if i get just a really good pokemon not necessarily a legendary just a pokemon a really good one or one that i want to use um i might end up doing it but for the most part i'll try to stick with my team unless someone dies obviously that's usually when i end up replacing someone um so I'm probably not going to re immediately replace anyone unless we get some crazy encounter. If we get like infinite for Tyranitar, I'm telling you right now, we're replacing someone. But <laughs> for that's it for this episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video and if you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe, subscribe button. Be sure to also answer the question today, by the way, I almost forgot, which was what is your favorite rock type Pokemon? Uh, be sure to check out the socials in the description, Twitter, and Instagram, or both at HermitLonely underscore. Please share the socials with your friends, family, everyone you know. Let the people know Lonely Hermits were tight. And I'll see you guys later.
Bye.